Hey what's up guys my name is Dhruval and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this magical manipulation using Photoshop. So let's get started. So before we start I found this image on deventa.com and if you want to use this image for your personal practice the download link is available right below that subscribe button. As you can see there are so many layers that I will have to use this file as a reference. So let's start by creating the levels and in the levels I'm just increasing the highlights a bit and then I'm gonna keep this part in center so we have good amount of contrast and after that I'm gonna show you how to change the color of the background so for that again create new adjustment layers of hue saturation and the background is basically yellow and green so I'm gonna go to yellows and I'm gonna change it to whatever color I want every color kinda looks good in this image so I'm gonna start with maybe 69 and then uh, as you can see everything is red but so do her skin and we do not want that so uh, the advantage of using adjustment layers all you have to do is select a brush and make sure you have black color on full opacity on 100% and then you paint it on the parts where you do not need it so as you can see here when I paint I, we can get rid of the colors that are on her skin now what I'm doing is really careless thing and you really don't want to do it for your file so take your time and do it peacefully and don't rush it uh, I have limit of tutorial so time matters for me but you take your time now one thing to really take care like you are not gonna mask this terribly but whenever you do mask this kind of things you have to make sure that since she was shot on a green background her skin has reflection of green color and so do her dress so what you can do about that is now this looks fine if I totally remove it with black color you can see that the green color the reflection of green color doesn't go really well with that so what you can do about that decrease the opacity of your brush to maybe like 30 and then remove this and if you think that this portion needs some red color reflection you paint it there with white color so you can have that back and if you think it's too much you remove it with black color basics of mask I'm not going into because it's a manipulation tutorial so you should have a basic idea about masking and selection stuff so as you can see this green color doesn't look good but if I paint with red color you can see that this matches really well now so we are good to go the background looks really fine like okay because of the bad masking but you get it now create another adjustment layers and this time I'm gonna select hue saturation again because this time I want to change the color of her hair because I think that red looks good but it was better with green background now the background is red that color is not going really good so I'm gonna go to red and I'm gonna change it but why do we waste the time when we have the original file so let's go back and let me turn it off all of this so the red the it is plus 17 and plus 15 so let's go to red and plus 17 and this one is plus 15 now I'm not being lazy this many layers oh, oh my god it is really easy to forget that what you did so as you can see this looks fine but we want only on her hair so you can either erase everything else or you can only paint her hair so select your mask and press ctrl i so it will hide everything and then all you have to do is just paint on her hair with white color so that's gonna reveal it but make sure your opacity is 100 percent this thing is really tricky because sometimes you just keep on painting and you forget that the opacity is low and that's why you have to paint multiple times so take your time and paint it so be careful around the edges and if you think it is ruining the image decrease the saturation a bit or you can also use that magical option of low opacity which helps to blend the corners better so take your time and paint it better so look at this terrible masking so I'm just gonna paint in here and that looks amazing we are good to go so let's go back and what else we can do levels turn, hue saturation done now the cool part dodging and burning 
so the dodging and burning really cool method like it's worldwide popular everyone knows how to do it even though i'm going to show you so first of all you create a blank layer and then you press shift backspace and it will open a dialog box something like this so you select 50 percent gray and hit ok and then you put this on soft light mode and in the soft light uh, the reason you cannot see because soft light doesn't show you gray colors but um, when you take your dodge tool which you can find in here and make sure the exposure is under 10% because otherwise it's just gonna ruin and you won't even realize that you totally killed your picture so basically the concept is wherever you see the highlighted parts like this portion of the arm you paint normally as you can see here you might seem no difference but just keep patience you paint on this highlighted area and whenever you are at this dark portion you hold alt key and then you press so it will make it even darker so basically we are making the bright colors even brighter and the dark even darker now if you think that alt option is not good for you i don't know why but if that's not you can every time every freaking time you can change to dodge and burn dodge and burn but i think this method is way better so you just have to paint with alt key and then you just paint like this and if you keep it under like four to five it's even better for her face whenever you, you are dodging and burning face five to four four to five is like too much okay that you should not go about that that's just my personal experience so i'm just gonna darken this portion of her let's turn it on and off and we can see the difference see that makes a lot of difference now i'm not gonna waste half hour just painting on her so anyway it's not a dodging and burning tutorial so you cannot complain okay so it looks really beautiful when you do it properly so i'm just gonna copy it and i'm gonna paste this layer here I'm gonna delete the old one and then I'm gonna change it to soft light see I saved a lot of time okay after that we have levels again and this time I've done nothing just create another adjustment layers of levels sometimes I do not do it even on purpose I'm like okay let's do it what's gonna do and it does a good thing so I keep it Photoshop works that way you know and then the color balance the keep layer which gives it actual fantasy type feeling like this one okay we get it a red forest but this one actually gives it a mood so let's see first of all make sure you have checked preserve luminosity otherwise make it even it will make it even darker so let's go to shadows minus five so create another layer and select color balance oh that's cool Photoshop I think Photoshop is drunk I go and I select color balance and it is showing me levels that's weird so I have to take a break so it seems like there was a some bug in Photoshop so whenever I create a new adjustment layers of color balance it will show me levels and it is still going on so I had to copy the layer so forget about that let's concentrate on color balance so first of all in the shadows it's minus 5 I'm just gonna show you the straight out numbers I'm not gonna even explain because there is nothing to explain it always depends on what color your image have so if maybe just think that you selected instead of like really strong purple color for your background so you might add some blue and not the magenta color or cyan color so you can see the numbers here midtones are minus 26 minus 16 and the highlight is minus 7 and minus 2 so this should do it but the thing is I chose to select preserve luminosity so I have that brightness because otherwise it will make the image more contrasty which I don't need right now so you get the idea what I'm trying to tell you so the basic mode of image is totally set and it is actually looking really decent right now except of this terrible masking but forgive me for that okay so let's go back and turn it on here we have now make the dress darker I think I have done it pretty much time okay first of all create a blank layer press ctrl alt shift and E and forgive me for the background noise because my neighborhood is bit noisy so basically we just created a jpg inside photoshop as you can see here so 
put this on multiply so it will make the whole image darker and then apply a layer mask but while applying a mask hold down alt key so it will apply a blank mask and all you have to do is paint white color where you want it dark and make sure the opacity is 100 percent so i'm just gonna paint it here really terribly and it seems fine to me not that bad so once you are done with the masking of dress and you think it's way too dark which is obvious all you do is start from zero and then increase the opacity a bit so maybe 25 looks fine so we have that detail back there are millions of ways to do this but i thought this one was good okay after that brightness and contrast so same thing create an adjustment layers select brightness and contrast and increase the brightness maybe around 35 all you have to do is concentrate on the skin and after that select a mask and press ctrl i and then all you do is just paint over her skin so it can stand out even more so i'm just gonna paint there and as you can see suddenly it is looking really amazing now the masking thing is there that i'm not doing a good job at masking but it's okay and we are good to go so suddenly a really good bright skin of a fairy we are good to go and if you think it is way too bright always there is an option of opacity so decrease it and good to go okay that is also done now the color fill option now this is some really cool thing i'm just gonna copy it the code 553f4c if you can't see so create a new solid and in the solid i'm gonna paste this code and hit ok now why this color because this color matches with the background nothing else so all you have to do is select a color that matches with your background so and put this on soft light so let's change it to soft light and we have a really good contrast in overall image but as you can see i have a layer mask here because we do not want the skin to be red remember the same thing we did in hue saturation so first of all decrease the opacity maybe to around 70 or 50 okay and just randomly paint around her okay not randomly paint carefully and i'm gonna remove it from her skin and her hands and that a bit so it helps to stand her out from the background because this is a bit busy background a uh, good but when you do some this kind of crazy things you have to careful that your subject stands out from the background so there's that and we are good to go and we totally nailed it so then the vignetting if you have seen my other tutorials you will know that i'm a big fan of vignetting so just go to gradient and in the gradient you have a color to transparent so in the color select a black one hit ok and then go to radial now it's looked it's looking terrible but just reverse it okay and then increase your size a bit till you see a bit of vignetting and you can also change the angle you know if the size is not working that great hit okay and then let's go and see the blend mode so change it to soft light so you have a darker edges and we can focus on her even more and if you think that's way too much always option of opacity decrease it and after that the curves the opposite of what we just did just create a new curves adjustment layers increase it maybe something like that and then and then make your brush really big make sure the opacity is like 50 60 not full and then paint on the sides so maybe not that much but you can see the mask here see so paint just on the sides with black color so basically i'm just hiding the some portion of image the whole image is bright but this one you get the idea you're not that retard i love i know so that's good and if you think the image is not like really bright just decrease the brightness a bit 
now it might not look really natural because the masking is bad yes that can be a reason if you don't do proper masking it can look bad so we are good to go almost something like that now don't worry about this clears right now because first i want to show you how to create fake depth of field something like this now <laughs> this is really bad i'm sorry for that but the layer management is like really bad here so let's go back and let me show you what i mean create a blank layer and press ctrl shift e just like we did before so we have a jpg inside photoshop then you go to your quick selection tool and you make a really nice selection of the model which doesn't seem good here but we can go with it a bit for what I want to explain you so make a really nice selection if you think the quick selection is not working good use pen tool and make a proper selection okay and then what you do is you press ctrl shift i so it will inverse the selection and then you go to filter blur and you select lens blur so it can help you to add fake depth of field now I'm going with pentagon 5 but experiment with all and just do whatever the whatever one works really good for you now the radius so this way you can add some fake depth of field and if you think it's way too much opacity right so there's that so looking good so that's that's looking really nice so the basic thing is totally ready actually the whole manipulation is done which doesn't look really good like this because we don't have time for masking but you guys are nice you will understand now the magical part this magical particles and glow and which is actually really nothing like just create a blank layer fill in the black color now go to filter render and lens flares in the lens flare I'm gonna go with uh, 105 mm prime because it has less linings and just a simple light bulb and then what you do is you change it to screen and then you make it put it in her hand then obviously it is making it way too dark so for that apply a mask make sure your brush opacity is 100% this time and then paint on the edges where you do not need it so this way an awesome magical thingy in her hand and this one if you think looks cool keep it there if don't then remove it I'm gonna remove it because I don't think that's looking really cool now the color I want that color to match the background so I'm gonna go to image adjustment and hue and saturation and then you just change the color of first of all select colorize so it will make your job easier and then you increase the saturation a bit and you can change the color however the heck you want so we already made the orange one right so let's change it to this time blue nah not looking good green no okay I'm gonna go with red so we have it there and if you want to make it even brighter just create a new blank layer copy this color from here and paint it something like this and change the blend mode to screen and you have even brighter you can also change the color dodge no not a good idea uh, linear dodge terrible okay screen back to screen okay to make it even brighter okay but we don't need that as we can see so this one is really smaller and less bright but this one is really big so you can just transform it okay don't whine about it cool good to go now what you can do another thing is you can create new adjustment layers and select brightness contrast and then increase the contrast a bit then what you actually do is you keep it everywhere but you remove it from her skin and this light bulb or this glowing balls thingy that we just created okay so you remove it from there something like this so it can help to her stand out and make things look like the glow is coming from there see the difference it makes really cool so now let's add that particle dust thingy and for that I am using an image from deventart.com so this image is already here 
so this is also available link in the description stuff you get it you can download it so paste it here and I'm gonna make it small to fit in my document so something like this now we want to get rid of the black background now I know you can directly change to the screen and but we have to apply an effect after that so I have to go to select color range and then I'm gonna select this black color and then the fuzziness is completely 200% okay and then delete it so if you zoom in you can see this really good white particles and then change the blend mode to screen so this way we can get if it's on normal you can see that black color around the edges but change it to screen and we are good to go now make it small like small enough to fit in her hand so small and we are good to go so see if it doesn't look like too much just duplicate the layer so we can look at it from a distance and then just select all of them and press ctrl E so you can merge them right and then don't forget to change the blend mode to screen again so this way you can have this magical dust but it's not magical enough right so double click on it and select outer glow and in the outer glow copy any color from the background or something pinkish or that matches with your image okay so this looks good but as you can as you remember the image was square so the particles are in square but they should be random so apply a layer mask grab your brush and remove it from some places like this and we can also look back to this image go back to this one and here so as you can see here the particles are quite big and uh, then this one so I'm gonna make it a bit bigger something like this and that's looking nice I'm gonna might remove something from here like that and a bit from her face because we don't want to ruin that so the magical dust fairy dust is ready and you can also duplicate it for even more stronger effect but I don't think that's looking good so this is it I finally showed you something and if I missed anything or you are stuck anywhere or if you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comments I do my best to reply each and every comment and other thing if you want to learn how to create this type of particles I already have a tutorial how to create snow particles or this kind of particles in Photoshop so you can also check that out and I also have pretty good tutorials on my channel tutorials junction so you can also find cool tutorials there and also when you leave don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any updates so that's this is it for now goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop